What I have here is a simple, very frugal, folding aluminum cart that I've adopted as a camera cart. Now I should mention, I think this would also make a, a very handy cart for your sound mixers, especially if you need something that collapses very tight and small and has some working surfaces. So let's uh, take a break, let's cut, and then we'll take off a few things and go over some of the very simple mods that I made to this cart. Now my first simple addition are of course these plywood shelves. Now, obviously, when we're loading up gear, it just helps keep things organized. Um, and when we're on set, we can use these shelves, of course, as uh, spaces, as desktops to, uh, again, to help work and organize. On the bottom, for extra support, I have these one by one aluminum uh, tubing that uh, were actually old frames, uh, you know, just from old grip gear. And they're just screwed in from the plywood over here. And of course, they are sized to help locate the shelf. So doesn't shift around while we're working or while we're moving. Now you could have one, you could have two shelf. Uh, maybe something a little more practical would have been maybe a half shelf on top. So we could clamp on a monitor or other, uh, you know, other things, but that's all entirely up to you. It depends what you need. Now hanging on the end of the uh, cart is my tripod. And as you can see, it's a fairly, you know, fairly heavy one for the, uh, for the way I'm hanging it. And this is just supported by this. This is um, a simple steel hook that I bought at an auto parts store. This was actually made to hang calipers uh, when you're doing a brake job. It'll fit right there. And when we wanna load up our tripod, it happens to hook this one just like that, and away we go. Now we could bungee it around here to keep it from swinging as we uh, go from uh, set to set. As you can see here, my cart is actually just folding scaffolding that I bought from an industrial supplier. Now the main shelf over here, this is made out of steel. That's what you see over here. And it's pretty strong. I think it's rated to uh, support around 500 pounds or so. So it could hold, uh, you know, a couple of me or, you know, a fair amount of gear. And you can, of course, use this as scaffolding if you really need to, uh, using these, you know, half shelves at different heights. And I will have to say like, you know, with a van kit, you really can't bring that much gear along and choosing what you bring, you know, is always an issue. By this, I've been a kind of a label to eliminate a four step ladder because if we actually do need, you know, to get up into the ceiling, we can go as high as here on these steel shelves to get up there. And, you know, once we uh, remove the shelves, we can easily collapse the cart. I have these little uh, kind of weird ties I got at a Home Depot, and I just use them to keep the cart from spreading out. And now it's ready to go. Now, one advantage to this uh, scaffold is that it packs extremely small. I mean, it's quite a bit smaller when you fold it than a Magliner Junior or a Magliner Senior, because as you know, those hand trucks, those wheels in back, they just stick out quite a bit, and it's also, Quite a, quite a bit lighter than a Magliner, at least I think so. And that's gonna lead us to the one mod that I did make on this cart. And that of course are these wheels. This is the caster that came with uh, the scaffold. And as you can see, it's actually quite a nice one. It's a locking, it's a total lock caster, meaning that the wheels will lock and the pivot will lock if you lock it. But as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller and thinner than these uh, casters from Rock and Roller. Now these are Rock and Roller multi-cart casters and I bought these from uh, B&H because again, because of the diameter and because of the width, they're gonna roll much easier over rough terrain. Now to fit these on, it was a pretty straightforward, like as you can see with this, this stem just goes right into the tube and you lock it in place with these locks. However, the uh, casters from Rock and Roller, they're slightly bigger than this. So these don't actually fit in unless you modify them a little bit. And what I did for these rock and roller casters is I used just a simple angle grinder and I went around and I thinned the diameter of the stem. Now it's not perfect, uh, you know, it's a bit of a MacGyver fix, but it worked. And as you can see, you know, they fit on nicely and they're actually kind of jammed in place. Uh, they won't come off easily which is what I prefer, as opposed to something that'll slip off easily. And there you have it, my simple folding, lightweight aluminum camera cart. Now I'll put all the parts in the description below with links and uh, 
That's about it. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next one.